Does your Hanzo gameplay look something like this? Yeah, that's gotta change. Well, don't you worry, Clown is gonna help you out. I've got six beginner tips here for improving your Hanzo gameplay. These tips are necessary to know at all skill levels of Hanzo, so no matter where you're at, you can definitely take some notes here. The first one being something very simple, which is that the time you hold down your shot for determines the arc of the projectile. As you can see, when I now tap it instead of hold it down, it has a lot more drop and it travels slower. And with these lower charge shots, the damage that it does also scales with it, so you're doing piddly damage with this, however, it can come into use for firing quick sonic arrows to scout the area out before finishing the kill with a fully charged shot. Tip number two is to learn to charge your arrows before wall climbing. As you can see, when I climb up to kill this Hanzo here, I've got to charge my shot once I get up here, which takes a little longer than necessary. To get around this, charge your bow and hold it. You can now climb with this charged bow and once you stop climbing, that shot is going to be immediately charged for you to release, saving you that hot second. Tip number three is a very important one and it's to use your sonic arrows correctly. Scout out an area you think they're holding with a sonic arrow, which will reveal their position to you and allow them to come to you. This can be done defensively like this, or even offensively in this situation, as it allows you to easily line up your shot when they think that they're the one with the advantage being sneaky. Tip number four, not obvious to everyone, but your ultimate goes through walls. Not only the dragons, but the arrow too, they both do not collide with any form of environment. So do use this heavily to your advantage as it gives an element of surprise to the usually highly predictable ultimate. Tip number five is more of a personal preference, but is something that's very common among Hanzo players, and that's to play with a low sensitivity. Here's me playing with a high sensitivity, and as you can see, it's much harder to land these shots. You need your hand to be smooth, like butter, not shaky like this. Now exhibit B, where as you can see, my sensitivity is low, lower than what I'm usually used to, but as you can see, I have much more success landing these hits. It's just the way to go with Hanzo. And the final tip, which stems off of the last one, is to aim at head level and let them come to your crosshair. Instead of trying to flick shot them all the time, it's gonna make it real tricky for you. Keep your crosshair relatively still in a situation like this and release your arrows when they are about to line up with your crosshair and you're gonna land plenty more of those shots this way. I hope these tips were helpful for you, but you still have much to learn, so stay tuned for the advanced tips with Hanzo on its way shortly after I get bored making content for Lifeweaver.